Alright guys, welcome to the How to Play Dredge video. First, we're going to be going over his abilities, and then after that, over his talents. And if you want to skip all this, you already know this stuff, that's fine. Timestamps are at the beginning. You can skip right to the part or the gameplay where I tell about my loadout, what items to buy, and who he is good and bad against. With that being said, first up we have his Cursed Howitzer, I think I am saying that right. It shoots a projectile that bounces, then explodes, it does 850 direct contact. If you hit the person, it will explode on contact, but it will also bounce and then explode if you miss. Now, with that being said, we are going to move on to his second ability. He is his Harpoon ability. Now, it will, you can throw it through multiple targets, it will slow all of them, and it does 800 damage. That 1000 damage you saw there was affected by the talent that I have selected right now, because obviously you have to select a talent in the training room, but usually it just does 800 damage, slows the opponent, as you can see there. And yeah, that is his harpoon talent. Next up is his shortcut talent. And as you can see there, that is one of the shortcuts. I'm taking fire. I can place another one down and it will transport me back to the first one, which destroys this one. That one will stay. So say, oh, I'm good to go now. I can place another one down and go back to where I was before. It isn't the best m movement mobility in the game, but it is fairly good. Uh, it's also good if you have a card in your deck that heals you while you're standing by one of the shortcuts. Gives you good sustain. With that being said, let's move into the next ability. Final ability before we move on to the ultimate is his broadside ability. What this does is launch three projectiles in a group like that, and when they explode, Direct hit does 950 damage and it slowly decreases as you get farther away. It is a fairly good ability for controlling point. Spam those on points and you will be good to go. With that being said, let's move on to his ultimate. Dredge's ultimate ability is fairly strong. It is area damage like most of his kit and it does 2500 damage to anyone caught inside and it will also give knockback pushing everyone caught inside away from it after it damages as you can see 2500 damage takes a few seconds to get up go off but it is very very strong you can one hit a lot of people and it like half health hits tanks it is very strong with his abilities covered Let's move into his talents. First talent we are going to be going over for Dredge is his Abyssal Spike uh, talent. Sorry, What it does is it edits its harpoon, it sticks in the ground where you throw it. When people walk over it, it does a thousand damage. Now, what you may not know is this talent also, if you throw it through people, it will still do the 800 damage, but if they walk it will still stay in the ground even after it does the 800 damage. I think I found, okay, I was gonna say, I think I found a bug because the pip wasn't moving. But yeah, so it will still stick in the ground even if you hit someone with it, which is very good in my opinion. It's not his best talent, but it is certainly useful. The next talent for Dredge is called Hurl, and honestly, Hurl and the next talent we're gonna go over, I say are even. I prefer the next talent, but Hurl is very good. This means his Hurl talent is Harpoon has no cooldown. You can spam it as much as you want. Uh, the only thing it doesn't do is give you the slowing effect that his Harpoon usually does. You trade out the slowing effect for infinite Harpoons, which in my opinion, I think it's definitely worth it because it does a ton of damage and with no cooldown, that's kind of broken. But now that we've covered that, let's move on to his last talent. Dredge's final talent, uh, as you might have seen earlier, when he reloads, it shoots a projectile. This talent edits that projectile to make it 20 unit radius explosion. Now, this is the talent I use. I really like it because you can shoot, shoot this, and as you can see, it's kind of slow right now. But if per se, I go in and buy max death hands, 
uh, you shoot, reload really fast, you can just spam it, and it, you can get a ton of damage off it. And it's honestly kind of broken as you uh, aim your shots. It is very good. That is why I play this talent. By no means am I the best dredge player. But again, dredge doesn't really take too much skill to be good at. Uh, as you can see here, like, how hard is it to left trigger, reload, left trigger, reload, like, it's not that hard. So, with that being said, let's move on to the gameplay, where I'm going to go over the loadout, and everything more you need to know about dredge. Alright guys, if you have made it this far in the video, that means you must be enjoying it, so I'm going to ask you now to please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We are only two subscribers away from 100 at the time of me making this, and it would really mean a lot for us to get there. Uh, if you don't, it's completely okay, but remember, it's free. Change your mind later. Up to you, but with that being said, let's move on to the loadouts. The first card I have in my deck is Gun Deck. Now, this card increases your maximum ammo by 3 when you have it at level 3. Each level increases it by 1. The reason I have it at level 3 is because Dredge's broadside goes out in 3 and it would be pointless to have it not be a number divisible by 3. So, that's why I like to give it a number 3. Adds to his spamminess, which is basically the whole reason for his kit, so I think it is a very solid card to have. The next card I like to have is Hangman's Ire. Now, what this does is when you get below 50% health, it grants you a shield uh, 450 at level 3, which is what I use. Now, the reason for this is, like I said earlier, Dredge's mobility isn't that great. He only has his shortcut, which takes time for him to go to. Now, the reason I like this is it, if you get caught out in the open, this 450 health shield will give you just enough time to sneak away into your shortcut. The next card is Reckless Barrage at level 4. Now, what this does is for each, per, uh, each enemy hit with broadside, it heals you for 200. Now, this might not seem like a lot, but if you have broadside on point, and there's three of them, right? So if you hit all three of them, that heals you for 600 health right away, which is about, if I remember correctly, a fourth of Dredge's health, which is insanely good. Of course, Cauterize will affect this, but still, I think it is a very solid card. The fourth card I have in my deck is Dark Bargain. Now, what this does is heal you for 200 every second you are standing near your cut. Now, this also helped a lot with your sustain. As you might have noticed in the gameplay, I forgot to put down my shortcut a lot. But if you do manage to put your shortcut down a lot, you will be just okay. Mix this with the other card that heals you for 200 while uh, for each enemy hit, you're going to be standing there for a long, long time. The final card in the deck is Abyssal Can- or Abyss Cannon, sorry, and it generates one ammo for each enemy hit by broadside. This is good if you're not in close quarters and you just want to spam onto the point. That is very good because you're just spamming broadside, you hit all three, you get three back, and you don't have to reload whatsoever. With that being said, let's move on to what items you should buy as Dredge. Alright guys, now with the loadout out of the way, we are going to be moving into what items you should buy as Dredge. If you watched any of the other videos, you will know I give you three items that I think you should use and leave the fourth up to you because, honestly, the fourth item in any game depends on the other team and what map you are on. With that being said, let's move into item number one. The first item I think you should buy is Dredge is Cauterize. The reason for this is kind of obvious. He is a damage dealer. If you are a damage dealer, you need like not even a question you need to buy cauterize to help your team because without it well the other team's just going to be getting too much healing compared to your team and you're just going to get absolutely steamrolled so cauterize is a must when playing dredge the second item i'm going to suggest is death hands the reason for this is because with the talent i use reloading is a very very important part of his kit 
and with dab hands it makes your reloading faster which means you can spam left click reload like I showed a little bit earlier and that will lead you to getting a ton and ton of area damage down on point or anywhere else you see fit I think it's a very solid item to buy as him some people if they're not playing my talent might disagree but this is about what I play so death hands is a go the final item I recommend buying as dredge is kill to heal because of the way kill to heal works if you damage someone even a little bit and then they die shortly after you are going to be getting the assist and since dredge is a very very wide AOE damage character you're going to be getting lots of tags on lots of different people so if you get killed heal you're going to be getting 300 600 900 health back depending on your level randomly and if you mix this with the portal card from earlier and the um, one with brigade Bar uh, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head but the one where he shoots three, you mix the card that heals you 200 for each enemy hit with, with that, you are going to be getting so much health back. It's honestly very, very useful, and I think you guys should buy it. Alright guys, now with that being said, we have the last section of the video, other than the montage, uh, which is just in case you guys want to stick around and see some cool, cool gameplay. But with that being said, we have who he is good and bad against. Now, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make this section a little bit longer, explain it, because I don't know about you guys, but I felt when I was making the other videos, this section was kind of rushed, didn't have a lot of substance to it, and I didn't really like giving you guys not a lot of information like that. So, what I have here is I'm going to try and break down each character individually what is Dredge good against about that character and what he is bad against instead of generalizing them. Now the first one is Khan. The reason Dredge is really good against Khan is because he absolutely melts Khan's shield if he's trying to stay on point and he can he just does so much damage to tanks and stuff that just add, once his con's biggest thing is putting up his shield and then like he puts up his shield sits there grabs someone puts his shield back up and lets his teammate finish them without his shield con is very very vulnerable which is why dredge is very good against him next is torvald the reason he is so good against torvald is because again of the shields if you have wrecker as well you're going to be destroying not only Torvald but the people he puts his shield bubbles on and that is very very effective and honestly it's kind of broken but next we have Barrack and the reason Barrack is on here is because well again he is another point tank the main reason I see Barrack on here is that Dredge absolutely destroys his turrets and I don't know if you guys have ever played Barrack if you haven't go check out my video on how to play Barrack but basically he can't do anything without his turrets and Dredge's AOE explosives absolutely destroy his turrets now we're going to be moving on to Io and then Ying shortly to follow the reason he is good against Io is because of well Io's kit again is mainly based around the dog and his explosives since Io can only relocate the dog every seven or eight seconds something like that he can just spam the dog and now the dog's dead they have to wait for the cooldown to come back and Io is without major buffs and additional healing and stuns that come from the dog and then with Ying it is similar Ying's healing comes from her illusions nothing else so she I think has it worse than Io because if Dredge can just absolutely destroy uh, the illusions and she's going to be getting no healing out whatsoever so Dredge major 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 counter to Ying 
uh, with that being said, we are going to now move on to who Dredge is weak against. The first person I am going to be covering that Dredge is weak against is Terminus. Now, this is the one tank Dredge is probably the weakest against, and the reason for that is his siphon can absorb all of the area damage and shoot it right back at his teammates. So, Terminus is a very, very, very strong counter to Dredge. Now, we're going to move on to Drogos. Drogos is insanely good counter for Dredge for a few reasons. The first reason is that obviously it is very, 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 very hard for Dredge to hit Drogos when he's flying up in the air. And because of this, it's easy shots on Dredge. Dredge basically can't fight back, so he needs help from other champions to deal with Drogos if he's being targeted by him. Um, the only good thing that Dredge can really do is run in his shortcuts and try and get into close quarters room fights with Drogos. It's the only way he can somewhat deal with him there, but honestly Drogos and Terminus are the two best counters in my opinion for Dredge. Next up we have Androxus. The reason for Androxus is similar to Drogos. He can fly around, dash around. Uh, with that being said, his dashing is a little less than Drogos. Well, his dashing, he dashes more, but he can't be in the air as long as Drogos, which is why he's a little worse against Dredge, but also he can pretty much beat Dredge in a 1v1 pretty easily. Next up, we have Maeve. And what you're going to notice, it's people with a lot of mobility that he is good against. Or not good against, sorry. Because Maeve, she can pounce, she can double jump. It makes it very hard to land his projectiles, which is why Maeve is really good against Dredge. Next up, and finally, we have Zin. Now, Zin is on here because he can counter the explosions he can smolder through the explosions and he also hits for quite a solid chunk of damage and what this does is make it so dredge is basically going to use all of his abilities just to kill zin and that means that zin will probably get the upper hand because he can he, dredge will be out of ammo by the t and then dredge will be out of ammo Zin can easily finish him up when Dredge has none of his ammo and abilities left. With that being said, that is the end of how to play Dredge video. If you guys enjoyed, please hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you really enjoyed. It's free. I'll see you guys in the next video.